accounts that I oversee and work on more closely. All of the accounts um, that we do still at General Motors, uh, uh, most specifically Buick and GMC and OnStar are the big ones there. And then out of Boston, um, a whole range, but I go deeper on Aflac as well as Harley and Ahold um, and kind of get a taste of, of some of the others along the way. Um, in terms of some of the interesting projects that I'm working on right now, um, I'm particularly deep in uh, CRM and actually th what we would call kind of the new definition of CRM, which is um, uh, a bunch of companies are coming to us and asking for uh, help on loyalty. And uh, it's interesting because they come and they have these points programs and we're really helping to redefine what CRM is and it's all about the integration of social and mobile and just people and how they live their lives and what we've talked about is the kind of abandoning databases and moving more towards um, not abandoning but leveraging them uh, in partnership with just watching what people are doing yeah. sensing um, their behaviors and uh, responding um, more in real time one-on-one -on -one ways that are relevant, and that's what we're helping Harley with. We're doing that on Aflac um, in different ways. We do a lot of B2B work with Aflac, um, so we're always helping them try to recruit agents as well as influence the people that bring Aflac into their companies and offer it to their employees. So we uh, find ways to, to help people understand what Aflac is because people certainly know the brand, but they don't know the value of the product. So we're doing a lot of that. I think um, for them, it's uh, both with their agents as well as with um, the HR folks that they talk to at all the different companies. It's, um, it's a much different approach. Instead of one-off initiatives, it's about building a relationship. It's a deeper explanation of the products. Um, last year, we started sending um, packages. Um, out to uh, their to their to their brokers to the agents to the HR leads, and uh, we actually got people to understand the products in a very different way by sending very very different breakthrough kind of you know direct mail pieces. Um, in fact, for um, for their dental product, we sent a tube, tube what looked like a tube, tube toothpaste, but inside it you know you unrolled it and it explained all the. Uh, attributes of the of the product and the um, and the results actually were amazing it went up they they sold 70 percent more dental insurance than they did but before just by explaining to people the products now that's a tactic that's one example but instead of like leaving that by itself that becomes part of a conversation we say okay now we told, talk to you about dental insurance and then we bring in the other products and make it part of an overall story It's all about content, it's all about build, building stories, and it's all about the integration of social and mobile. So um, it's instead of one-off initiatives, it's about smart branded content plays that are going after real problems and real targets, and then you know simultaneously bringing that to the right channels. And it's interesting judging the FEs today, the thing that I'm seeing differently um, from last year is that some of the stories um, and some of the examples are really um, playing off in a much more consistent way uh, across all of their channels, the people that are doing it well, versus the brand TV talking about one thing, digital advertising doing another. Um, the stories and the brands that are being the most successful are finding a very targeted audience, a very targeted, insightful message, and they're playing that out in a real way. And they're even in their playing, doing the ones that are the best are bringing the video into their display advertising so that the power and the emotion of um, the moving media is not something that just lives and parked on a site or parked through distributed channels. It's, it's there and it's, it's everywhere you go. Um, I think to take, take that one step further, I think the companies that are the smartest are um, thinking about the targeting and the, the retargeting and, and finding people um, and knowing who they are and giving them a very personalized me dynamic message. Um, so, for me, for, so in digital, the, the money is flowing um, still more to digital, that's growing, but it's also um, being the companies that are doing it the best are doing it in a very targeted way. Um, I know we're doing that with Harley. We have very specific assignments, very specific targets, be it women or youth, um, and then we think about the, uh, 
the right challenge and how to break through, and then that content is going to go find those right people. Can, can you give an example of, of sort of executing on that? So um, an exciting example of what we're working on today with Harley is, um, is with women. It's a very important target to them. They know to grow, they have to reach many new targets, several diverse targets, youth as well as women. Um, but specifically for women at, acting in the lead agency role, we are building out um, content um, for women and it's all around education and taking away the scare factor because um, there are a lot of women that would love the experience, but they don't know how to begin. They are, they're scared because they have to go get a motorcycle license. It's complicated. But what we're doing is we're um, finding those right women by going to women who are already riders, finding their friends, leveraging the influencers, bringing, making that circle bigger. Um, and then bringing women to educational classes. And so they learn about riding, they learn about how to get their motorcycle license, we take uh, the barriers away, um, and there are a few more steps in the process, but that's what's needed to, you know, to grow um, the, the base of riders. And uh, it's exciting. We're really um, you know, going out and finding women that didn't think they would be riding, and they're as surprised, uh, you know, as perhaps we are, that we're able to bring them along and, uh, you know, ha help with that transformation. Do you have a Harley? I don't have a Harley, <laughs> um, but actually it's the, our Harley team in Boston um, is over half women, and uh, it actually helps us to think really differently about their target and about their growth, and it's fun. Um, so with all this content you're producing, you know, with Harley as the example, are you creating a destiny you know, as like blog.harley.com, or are you YouTube channel, Facebook fan page, like how are you getting the content in front of this? essentially content discoverability? So you're asking um, about distribution and how we make sure the right content finds our audience. And um, you know, it's not the same for any one target, but in the case of Harley, like for women, we try to understand who are those women we're talking about, how do they spend their day, and where can we intersect and be relevant in the different moments. Um, and so there's actually um, all kinds of different content that's consumable for different you know, mediums and for different parts of your day. So um, there's a chance to um, maybe learn about a particular feature or you know, like learn about a new ride or learn about people near you that are riding and maybe you'd access that on mobile. You know, when you want to go to a deeper experience, there is a destination, there is a place to go, there is a hub, there are blogs, you can consume a lot more content when you're in a position to sit and read about it, to watch those other videos. But um, for us, it's a lot about, um, you know, little facts and little tips and, uh, you know, letting people know who else in their, you know, fan Facebook group um, is, you know, is interested in as well and also consuming the content. So. I think it's about being in the right places, it's being in many places, and it's about making those right uh, connections, making people aware of you know, the other folks in their circles. You're talking about, oh, and on Facebook, so A, how, how do you, Harley, or did you toss on behalf of Harley, discover who is a chick biker? Yeah. And then how do you get to their friends, and then how do you, you know, through their news feeds or ads, actually get their friends to know that yep. this friend is actually a biker? And yeah, so, um, you're asking about, um, you know, we're trying to find these women who both are bikers and we're trying to find the women who could be bikers and want to be bikers if, if we could just get them um, the right information. And uh, in many cases for other clients, we do bigger buys with, uh, you know, a Facebook because Harley is such a powerful brand, um, such a known brand, so many people are talking about it. Um, we're actually able with Harley to leverage a lot of their earned media. Um, and just go to the places that people are talking about Harley and then join those conversations. Become a relevant player in those conversations, add value, add content into those conversations. Um, and again, people are already talking about it, so that's where we start. And then if we can build those bases, you know, then we can invite other people in. But a lot of it is asking women to invite other women um, versus yeah, a big paid campaign on Facebook. We're starting more by um, getting the message out because it is a new message, building some original content, and then trying to make sure that content gets to the right places. So yes, ultimately we want to make sure um, if we build out um, 
cool things about women riders and how to go do that and explain the educational component, we want to make sure that content is getting into those conversations. So that's in process and that's, that is one of the ways that we'd go do that. At Digitas, we did tr uh, predictions for CRM, for social, for mobile, for media, and for B2B. And uh, for us, we see all of those practice areas growing, um, and we see that they're going to be the need for to be a social expert, to be a mobile expert. In some cases, we're hired just to be just to do you know those things. But I think the biggest trend is that there's a convergence of all of those things, and that there's an expectation. Um, by brands that there's a better way to manage your customers today. There's a better way to talk to them, there's a better way to reach them, and it's, again, by joining that conversation, by being relevant, by reacting in the moments, um, not trying to use a database to predict future behavior, treat segments, and imagine that people are just going to fall in line. And I think it is about leveraging social and leveraging mobile. Um, you can't leave those things behind, but. I don't think it's about doing any one of those things. It's, it's about the power of bringing them together because as consumers, we're all multitasking and we're all um, transitioning across platforms all day long. And so that's how a brand has to be relevant.